TC Communications is the acknowledged leader in aeronautical satellite communications in the Southeast Asian region. So our organisation, TC Communications, we've been building aircraft solutions for around 12 years now and that's given us a great deal of uh, experience in terms of building these new technology systems. So we've seen customers uh, go from patrolling or orbiting around an object they're, they're trying to analyse for an hour while trying to describe on a telephone link what that object looks like to being able to take a picture or a video of that object and then sending it to the experts on the ground and, and then moving off elsewhere to some other part of their patrol area whilst the experts consider what that image might look like. Substantial savings and operating costs straight away and the ability to share more information more quickly which means you can change your resourcing or decide you want to dispatch other assets to deal with a particular problem. As the developer of the world first award-winning I Am The Sky solution for Australia's Customs Border Protection Command, TC provided Customs with the ability to transfer live video footage from their aeronautical surveillance fleet in the air directly to their national headquarters in Canberra. On the left there we've got some uh, live footage from the dash currently uh, monitoring the e Grumpa, the Great Barrier Reef. You mean live, live? That's live, right, yes. This access to two-way communications between HQ and the operational aircraft opened up the scope and increased the efficiency of these sorties. The Eye in the Sky solution was subsequently involved in operations including supporting the Royal Australian Navy in drug busts and helping out firefighting authorities in bush firefighting activities. The success of this development soon spread throughout the region and TC was once again called upon to develop a leading edge world first solution for the Taiwanese National Fire Authority who required a similar capability but this time for their rotary wing aircraft fleet. A second generation Eye in the Sky 2 solution utilised the broadband efficiency of Inmarsat's new Swift broadband service for Indonesia's CN325 patrol aircraft. Telecommunications costs are very, very low in comparison to aircraft operating costs and every day the cost of telecommunications goes down as uh, technology is improved and people look for other ways to optimise those communications links. And TC got into the aviation communications business 12 years ago because we recognised that while there are plenty of people available to fit equipment to aircraft, they didn't really understand telecommunications. And it's not just about how you fit things to the aircraft, but also how you deliver that information to the ground. So if you don't build a complete telecommunications system, you actually don't get the benefit of the equipment you've actually fitted to the aircraft. Further advances in technology have made satellite communication capabilities far more accessible to a broader market of small and medium-sized airframes, delivering benefits to the wider community through its popularity with the fire, rescue and emergency services. Adam Damon, Technical Systems Specialist, State Aircraft Unit, Victoria, sums up the advantages of this solution. For us, this means providing regular real-time snapshots of a fire zone, regardless of how remote the location. The system has also been designed to allow for remote access to fire data, which means we can assist other regions with their firefighting capabilities. We recently sent one of our planes to Tasmania to assist with a small bushfire northwest of Hobart. We were able to fly down, transmit the data, and fly back to the mainland without ever having to land the plane. A huge success both in terms of the cost of the mission and the capability provided. As a result of our work across Southeast Asia over the last 12 years, we've been able to work with customers in a number of Asian countries on various airframes. We've managed to do helicopters as well as fixed wing aircraft. And one of the other things that's happened over this time is that we've managed to reduce the size of the satellite equipment and also the cost of it. So we're now able to fit uh, a high quality satellite communications link to quite a small airframe uh, for under $100,000. And that's a big change because once upon a time fitting this sort of technology to an aircraft would cost somewhere between half a million and a million dollars. So not only do you have the benefit of more utilisation of your aircraft because you're able to get communications on it and off it, but also the actual cost of fitting that technology to the aircraft is, has become considerably less. Designing and installing a satellite-based communication solution for installation onto an aircraft is not a trivial matter. You must consider more than just the individual hardware, you've also got to consider the effect of the new hardware on the aircraft characteristics and performance. You need to 
consider the loading on the aircraft, existing systems, you need to consider certification requirements, not just for the satellite service provider, but also the aircraft certification authorities. Where TC is able to assist with this process, we can bring to the project the various subject matter experts. We're not just providing a hardware solution and leaving a customer to resolve their own problems in terms of certification and integration. We can work with the client so we de-risk the project and we can remove nasty surprises or issues as they come down the line. That way we're ensuring that the project runs on time, on budget and on quality. The aeronautical sector is a very specialised one and the costs involved in both the airframes themselves and their associated operating expenses makes this sector understandably risk adverse. You need an expert that can be trusted with your high worth assets. Which is why TC has been the integrator of choice for projects such as the Prime Minister's jet fleet, as well as defence fleets, including highly specialised UAVs, transmitting operational video and data. In the business environment these days, people use uh, business jets, be they for VIP type people, such as uh, heads of state and so on, or for major corporations, because they need to get more value of their people per hour. And so people in flight and cut off are not as useful as having them connected or still connected to their organisations. So the same telecommunications we can use to send imagery, say, from a, an aircraft, allow us to send information to the aircraft so those same valuable people can make decisions while they're in flight and don't have to wait till they get to the other end. The corporate sector has also benefited greatly from TC's investment in R&D with recent projects integrating a complete suite of technologies across the satellite spectrum from Inmarsat, Iridium and Aerial VSAT into a seamless broadband office in the sky solution on board BBJ 737 platforms. TC's relationship with, the, with our clients does not end on the delivery of the original system hardware or the installation of the equipment onto the aircraft. We have developed and are proud of our ability to maintain strong relationships with our existing client base. An ongoing relationship based on a model through life technology support. We are able to assist the customer not just with the installation and commissioning of their original solution, but also with ongoing technical support, with training of their flight line maintainers and their cabin crews to make sure that they can operate the equipment. We have help desk facilities in place that we offer to clients as a second line of support for their flight line maintenance staff, as well as for their air crews, to ensure that we don't have through life issues with support of the equipment should any particular difficulties arise. We're there to advise the client down the line as new solutions develop, new upgrades become available in a market that is constantly evolving. The TC Communications Engineering Support Team is staffed by a group of people that are also involved in the monitoring of our satellite networks as well as our terrestrial infrastructure. We're aware of what's going on in the air as well as on the ground. TC Communications has a terrestrial infrastructure consisting of points of presence in various locations throughout the Southeast Asian region linked back to our supported satellite platforms. That gives us the ability to not just connect your aircraft to the internet, but also allow secure corporate communications within a closed user group environment, or it allows us to construct a, a closed user group between different satellite platforms, allowing your aviation assets to talk to your maritime and even land portable assets within a secure environment without transiting the internet, which is inherently an insecure environment that can at times be somewhat unpredictable in terms of performance. Another thing we've noticed and we've been able to do for a number of customers is give them a taste of what benefits they can obtain for an aircraft fleet. With the technology we have available today, we don't have to produce enough equipment to fit to every single aircraft that a given customer has across a whole fleet. We've done a number of projects now where the customers fit uh, antennas to a number of their aircraft and then we have the SATCOM avionics equipment, the actual equipment you need to make the data and voice communications work in a roll-on, roll-off rack. And this rack is able to be rolled onto the given aircraft you're going to operate on that day and then roll back off on using a different aircraft the next day. So the customer is able to achieve further cost savings because they know they don't need a connection to every aircraft every day. They can simply roll on the appropriate equipment for the right aircraft on that day 
And as their utilisation goes up and they're able to gain more benefit from communicating with the aircraft, they can add more racks of equipment and therefore have more deployable packages for their fleet. When you think about aircraft, aircraft are very expensive and valuable pieces of technology. And you want to get the most use out of your aircraft. Once upon a time, it was simply about flying more kilometres or spending more time perhaps on a radio link explaining what you could see to someone on the ground or in the case of someone on the ground wanted to share something with the aircraft, calling that aircraft by radio. But in the 21st century, people expect to be able to exchange information regardless of where they are, and that includes in flight. And so satellite communications have considerably changed the way people gain operational use out of their aircraft. And this makes a really big difference when you think about how many, uh, or how much money you have to spend to uh, maintain your aircraft. Anything you can do per hour of flight to get more use in that hour is a significant uh, cost saving. An understanding of a customer's actual communication solution requirement is a key part of any solution development and design. A common mistake is just to pull a standard packaged solution off the shelf and attempt to deliver that in a one-size-fits-all approach. In a commercial environment, different customers have different needs and to develop a cost-effective solution for the client the needs analysis really needs to be done because we need to speak to the client and truly understand what the customer's priorities are, what's necessary for them in their communication solution, what their system time frames are, what their security issues are, etc. That allows us to properly define a project, allows us to properly build a solution that identifies all of the customer's requirements. TC has over 20 years experience in the satellite communications industry and is sought after for its technical expertise and solution development. When it comes to aero satellite communications, TC Communications has made the investment in R&D, training and testing so that you can rest assured that you will stay connected at any longitude, latitude or altitude. In today's market, committing to a communication solution shouldn't be a compromise for the end user.